Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it How they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? All right, so what are we getting into today? Finally, 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 back at home from the SoCal trip. It feels good to be home. Uh, came home to more packages for the car. So, uh, so everybody that be heading over to 650, we're going to be dropping off parts for the Fox body. Let me see, let me see. This is the lip right here. You guys see right here. We got the new aluminum drive shaft. We got the uh, contour dual fan radiator set up. Uh, I'm waiting for the little freaking uh, adapter bracket thing that goes to this. We have the Fox body front lip right here to complete the rest of the body kit. We also have Y body overs that I'm not sure if I want to install just yet or if I even want to do it all, but I decided to buy them before the price goes up on them like everything else. So uh, if we do use them, cool, if not, We'll sit here and maybe use them later when the car gets crashed or something. I don't know. Ooh, the beautiful Tree Fitty Z. Literally drove this thing for like 17 hours. I think I put like nine, nine or 10 tanks in there. And got a whole bunch of driving, different elevation changes, everything. And this car just ran flawless. Flawless. With how crazy gas prices are, it's definitely gonna be feeling good to be driving the Corvette today. This thing does way better on gas than the 350Z. That six gear overdrive, oh Lord, it makes a world of a difference on the freeway. All right, so we're just getting here to 650. Y'all can see the coupe right there. I'm literally about to drop off parts and then I'm about to be heading back home. Uh, me and White Aaron are about to be test fitting the LSA on the 350Z, seeing how much clearance and stuff we got. So um, I don't want to hit traffic. I literally want to drop this shit off and get to going. But yeah, I didn't show y'all this either. It's like a little bash bar for the front. We're literally trying to get this thing as open as we can with space to get airflow in here. We're still waiting for the bracket for the fan. Here's a new bash bar. New 150 amp alternator because uh, the one I have on there is 100 amp. And then here's the new drive shaft right here that we're going to be throwing on. And I think after that it's going to be cool. Um, I'm still waiting on this bracket, so I don't know when that bracket's going to get here. If it takes long, I mean, right now it's going to work with the stock fan, so it's going to uh, work better with the stock fan. This is a clean ass coupe right here. Who's this? Yeah, it's clean, bro. It's El Kukui's brother. Who the hell's El Kukui? The dude with the. That turbo hatch that I did. This thing is this is hella clean. Yeah, bro. We're doing the whole thing, same as you. Oh, he's doing turbo too? On three. Tell him to get ready to tell him to get ready to replace everything from on three. It's already got a uh I think it's a three thirty one in there. It's stupid clean. It sounds fucking bad. Yeah, it's a nice one. Man, I should keep stock body. Dude, I was like, <laughs> bro, just keep it like this, fool. And then his brother has that uh, other turbo car that I did, mm -hmm. black one, with the pony down kit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, nah, my brother gave me a ride, and I can't have him let, let him be faster than me. <laughs> this is stupid clean. <laughs> Definitely a garage car. I think this color is pretty rare, too. I don't know, like... It's an OEM color? Yeah. I don't know, like, the numbers, but I know it's a rare color. Hey, heads up. So this whole time, tell them what's been happening. We thought this thing was overheating. Uh, We're fucking replacing everything and so there was three things there was the heater core was leaking out the drain uh the holly sensor was crap it just would spike up to like 170 before we pulled it out and the belt routing on the pump was backwards so those three things and i took off the lip to get the airflow in mm -hmm. and we're gonna go drive it and see i right think now. it's the lip oh yeah it was it was blocking the radiator uh Nah, it still has airflow directly. It's not like a vet, bro. We vet. don't see right now. It's the sensor. The sensor was bad. Nah. The but, sensor but was it, bad. It, it was getting hot in traffic. 
Do we know if it was getting hot though? We only seen on the sensor it was getting hot. We don't know. <laughs> nah, it it, it 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 was a bad sensor though, because this one definitely is uh it's like in correlation with the mechanical. Mm -hmm. Even, you know? No, we thought we had blown head gaskets, all kind of shit. Man, Damn. Mike was scaring the fuck out of me. I was bro. like, bro, I, I think the motor is blown. <laughs> I didn't pull it around, let me open the garage. It's good. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna swap this uh we're gonna swap this drive shaft in real quick. And then I need to get up out of here. I need to get out of here ASAP because I don't want to be in traffic. So get this done real quick. Test drive and then get the hell out of here. And then we also right here, we got the new Garrett housing for this turbo. This is a 106. That This little 82 AR that's on here is just way too small. Power's like, ah! <laughs> Dying, yeah, like five cages. Remember how you said it's like you didn't feel like you had that top end, uh. like the on three one, yeah. The on three is a, a 96 AR, so with yeah. the one with the 106, it should help this thing breathe a lot better up top. We shouldn't be choking it no more. Yeah. Probably would have kept climbing on the power, too, huh? Yeah. All right, that new aluminum drive shaft all up in there. Oh yeah. God, this coupe right here making me like, wanna stay stock body, yo. I think it's clean. Nice. All right, he's gonna pull this thing out. Twit test drive. Man, I am out. Dude, the kit doesn't look bad. I really like, I really like the kit. Like it's growing on me. It is definitely growing on me. You guys seen the front the front lip is at the house. So this time around what we want to see is if this water temp gauge on the Holly stays the same or close to the mechanical gauge because last time they were way off. Way off. Got done driving it sitting here idling 180 this thing runs so much cooler and there the mechanical and the um and the heads up are spot on with each other 180 180 perfect no we're just letting this thing sit here and idle that bitch was 240 last two last time two weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> yep and it's in a stand there yeah before it was like Fucking skyrocket. It was going up hella quick, so yeah. 181 right All now. Right, so now we know it's 180. Yep, 181 seems like the chill idle spot is where it's gonna be at idling. Yeah, it's good. Yep, not bad. Definitely better. Shit's not all popping and banging like it used to. <laughs> Turbo is still spinning. Right. We ride spinners. We ride spinners. All right, we'll rip that one out. Put the new 108 in there. 106. Oh, 106. Man, it was feeling good right now, man. It was. The car was feeling real good. I, I, I know for a fact that the computer wasn't pulling no timing now because the fucking. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. So we're going to test these little fans real quick. I want to hear how these, how these jammies sound. All right, well, hopefully, let's see what way they spin. That's positive. That, 
They don't feel bad, yo. They don't feel too bad. Not too bad. They're pulling. This one's pulling harder. This it's pulling, pulling good. Harder. The thing about these is I know these pull more at idle than the stock clutch fan does. Yeah, it's possible. All right, so just getting to the house right now. Uh, white Aaron's about to be sliding through. Uh, we're about to be test fit in the LSA, but I got some good news. On the way to 650, I actually got a call. Got the call from the machine shop, and they said my 402 stroker motor is done. So I'm gonna be going to pick up the motor tomorrow for the C5. And yeah, it's gonna be, be dope to have my second fastest car back together. Um, probably sometime next month, maybe, drop this thing off at Saks Fee Shop. Uh, and get the motor and everything in. So, I think this is probably gonna be the parts I was waiting for. Yep, this is the mount bracket kit that we need to adapt the four contour fans to the Fox body. And then this is a new reservoir. I don't know how I feel about this thing. This thing's hella small, whereas the one that's under now, the factory one, way bigger. So, kind of like, eh, I feel like this doesn't really hold much coolant. All right, so my boy here, feel good to be driving the Prius again, right? Man. <laughs> Put four dollars in it. Yeah, and on top of it too. Like I'm <laughs> well, not not not. Seat. Hey, not nowadays. No, it's still five something, but <laughs> not wedged in the seat. It's all comfortable, and I'm like still recuperating, man. All right, so oh yeah, forgot to tell y'all, Granny's car is here. We'll get into that in a second. What should we check out first? Should we check out her car first, or? Fuck it, let's, <laughs> should we just roll it back some? Yeah, we'll roll it back. Let's, let's do it. Damn! Oh, yeah. That leak is getting bad. Yeah, it's time. It's time. I'm waiting for that LSA, man. The LSA part's supposed to be here. Yeah. Once they get here, then a whole new water pump goes on, but that thing is leaking. Yeah. It's gonna be very, very interesting to see where this LSA sits in here at. There's only been one other LSA 350Z that I've seen. Uh, and I think it used a totally different mount kit. It was like done years ago. So it's gonna be interesting. Top of here. Fucking steam port. Oh, is it? Yep, this front steam port. See it? Oh, yeah. This looks gargantuan in here. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, boy. Let's see if this hood closes. Pretty tall. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, go ahead. Push it. Yeah, push it. Center. Dude, I think it's going to close. I think it is too. Look what we got clearance. Yep. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. Hey, and it's not sitting down all the way. Oh. All right. Like that one side. So it's probably going to be down. Another half an inch or so? Yeah, we, that's crazy. This shit clears. That's insane. Hey, you would never know it was an LSA in here. Right. Damn. Damn, sleeper, baby. Right. It's going to be the Porsche on GTZ R1. Right. <laughs> the only one of its kind. Hey, the Porsche GTZ or the, the GTZ emblem is going to have like a small like dash like above it. R1. <laughs> Damn, that shit's crazy. It worked. I wish I had like one of those little uh, cameras. We could feed in. I want to see it. Like, bro, it's not. Look at the corners. It's not pushing anywhere. Yeah. If it was pushing, one of the sides would be pushed up, torqued up. But yeah. it's flat. We didn't even hear nothing. I didn't see the hood flex or nothing. That's true. Oh, that's crazy. Let's see, pop it. Yeah. That is insane. It actually works. It actually works. And then the hood was just painted, so we can see any marks on here. Nope. There's no indications. Not at all. <laughs> we in the 
the game. Dude, that is sick. All right, so cool thing is it does fit. The hood does close. Uh, the only thing that we may have to, well, for sure, we'll have to change is you see right there, there's a little gap. And that's because on this side, it's actually sitting on the steam port. So um, we need to address that when, when the time comes, probably get a, a steam port kit or maybe even a different valley cover that lowers it. I think there's a trick to it. Probably need an LSA valley cover. Uh, I'm not sure, but I know there's a way to make it work. And then my biggest concern is the throttle body. The throttle body is gonna be, I mean, it's on there, this will work. My only thing is right here, is the hood gonna clear this because we got all that right there. So I'm a little worried on the throttle body fitment, but um, mm -hmm. worst case scenario, I make a, a bracket, something that bolts onto to here, move the throttle body this way as part of the intake and then just make it connect over here. But I mean, I can move the throttle body all the way over here. It's definitely gonna be a little bit of fab work, but for the most part, it will fit. Uh, this is the, yeah, that, that strut bar ain't gonna go on. <laughs> That's not happening. So you got a shut bar for sale. Anybody wants it? <laughs> yeah, that thing got it got sacrificed for you know extra two three hundred horsepower. Yeah, that's fine. Closed sleeper. No. This is gonna sound like idling. Yeah, it's a sleeper until it's on. <laughs> right. <laughs> Already, no one thinks this car is a sleeper. No, no, it means this is gonna be even more of a problem now. Yeah, if that GT500 that kind of pulled off on me, if you're watching this, bro, I'm coming for you, nigga. I'm coming for you, bro. Yo, ass is mine when I catch you on 880, bro. Oh, man. Sorry, brother. Let's take this back off and put the other one back on. Right. I think it looked better. I wish it was that easy. It's definitely that easy when you got a, a, a Aaron. You got I'm an gonna Aaron, get, anything I'm gonna give is me one possible. Of those. I'm gonna get me one of those. You need to get one, bro. Yeah. They, they come in handy. Is that the move? Heavily. <laughs> get you an errand, and you'll be able to vlog more. Yeah. I'm gonna look into that. Let me I'm check Craigslist. I know. You gotta. You know how? You know how I found mine? How? I think Facebook Market. He was selling like a, a blown engine or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. You gotta go. You gotta. You gotta take a chance and find some engine deals on <laughs> Facebook Market. Yeah. Hey, oh. I'm looking for a, a built engine. <laughs> With the with the side of a uh, possible Aaron friendship, <laughs> you know, if you know any of those, man, let let us know. I think they're kind of. Right. I'm a, I need I need to find Aaron and Aaron, and I honestly wouldn't mind having a second Aaron. Like, if you can find me two Aarons, if we can, what's up with this cloning shit? They haven't figured that out yet. Seriously. If yeah. I can clone you, oh my god, bro. <laughs> I would love to clone you if See, I could clone I you. Then I wouldn't be like needed as much. You would. Oh. You you would definitely be needed. Cool. Hey, I am gonna work on your car. See, this is why we need two of you. You know what? You're not wrong there. He was just saying he needs two errands. I'm trying to figure out how to clone them. <laughs> I think if I take a pubic hair and they got like this little machine, you, you pour like droplets on it, right. and then all of a sudden another errand will, will grow out of it. No, that ain't gonna happen. Why it's not? Shake it real hard. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> shake it, nothing. It won't be the same. We could train it. We can like punk it because it'll be like new. It won't have an attitude. We'd make it do what we want it to do. Aaron, go change this transmission right now. Don't mess with my boy. We don't want. We can't clone Black Aaron though. Why not? Cause it'd be here high. Wouldn't be working. <laughs> all the cars he built, he 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 crashed them all into these islands that just come out of nowhere. <laughs> Aaron, if you want. Aaron, if you're watching this, bro, you know we love you. <laughs> but you gotta stop telling people that island <laughs> came out of nowhere. <laughs> hey, it was it was like Fortnite. They just built it right in the middle of the road. The police right. built it as he was running down the street. That being there, right? Who put this there? Who's the fucking guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were having that throttle body issue. And I told you that we were getting a new one. So bam, the dude who ported the intake manifold sent me a brand new throttle body. This is another freshly ported. Ported John right here, all nice and clean. Uh, had the stock one on there, but now we're gonna throw, we're gonna throw the porter one back on. This has been sitting up there for a minute, and while we got everything off, might as well get this thing on there. Probably keep that one in the car just in case for an emergency situation or something. All right, so it doesn't seem like anything's funky's going on. No. We can't get that sound of 
that we heard yesterday. Everything seems fine. Take Granny car for a test drive. Go do some donuts around the block. <laughs> we gotta test it. You good with that? You only have to do no donuts. Aaron, would you tell her that's the way you that's, test something? That's the proper way of testing. Yeah, it. you swing that thing, and then if it don't break, you be like, all right, the swing, swing proof, and we call that swing check. <laughs> we gotta do it in reverse because your car's front wheel drive, though. Okay. I don't believe you. Well, you gonna see it in the video of us swinging your car. <laughs> 